Kern County's State of the County meeting this year on January 19th, 2011 is going to be held here at the Marriott Hotel on Truxton Avenue, just down the street from the Kern County Administrative Center and the courthouse. This is the 13th annual State of the County Dinner uh, being held in the Grand Ballroom. This is the Grand Ballroom here at the Marriott where the 13th annual State of Kern County dinner and presentation is going to be held tonight. The young lady told me that all the seats are sold out. In 30 seconds or less, what's your opinion for Rose? For, yeah, no, for the state of Roseman in Kern County. Well, I, I'm excited about the opportunities that uh, we have before us. You know, right now we know that uh, you know the county budget is is uh, in, in a bad situation. But sure. I think that that gives us the opportunity to prioritize and try and streamline and, and figure out what, what we're going to what ways in, in which we can look at results. Uh, but as far as, as Rosemont is concerned, with the renewable energy that's coming online, I think that the, the, the future for us is so bright out in East Kern, and I am just so, so blessed and honored to have the opportunity to do everything that I can to uh, improve the quality of life for folks. You are here assisting the Rosemont High School mock trial team, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm an attorney volunteer for the Roseman High School mock trial team. And how exactly are you helping the mock trial team? I'm mostly uh, helping the students uh, focus on themes for opening and closing statement, uh, basic courtroom procedure, and questioning for the witnesses in preparation for their uh, competition. Do you enjoy what you do, Mrs.? Uh, I do. Uh, I have to say, with practicing law, there is never a dull moment. There is no such thing as a typical day, and so you're, you come in each day with a whole new set of problems and a whole new set of solutions. Now, are you looking forward to um, what the Rosemont High School uh, mock trial team has to offer during the pres uh, pre presentations? I am. I'm seeing a really good start uh, as far as the draft questions and opening statements, closing statements are concerned. Uh, students are working really hard, so I'm very excited to uh, see what the final product will look like. How do you think that you guys did yesterday in the game? Pretty good. We beat them by like 31 points. We smashed. How has the season been going so far for the JV girls? It's been going pretty good. Couldn't ask for anything better. Um, how about the game last week against Desert? Um, it was pretty hard, but we beat them. How do you think that you guys did yesterday in I your game? I think we did good. We actually beat the pretty bad, so I think we're going to be a great team, and I'm pretty sure we'll do good great all season. How has the JV girls season been going so far? It's not too bad. They're still learning. We're kind of a fundamental squad, but that's what you expect from freshmen and sophomores, especially when we don't have a program. Uh, a youth program, basketball program with the uh, middle school. Um, how was the win against Desert Friday? It was great. It was great. Everybody played really well. Uh, they really wanted that uh, win. You know, it was a crosstown rivalry, but more importantly, the girls played hard. Okay. Uh, Ricky Webb had a very good game that day. The district has presented through the county office, Kern County Superintendent of Schools, who is working very closely with us. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to sit down with all the groups and, and come to a understanding mm -hmm. this is a percentage we have to reduce mm -hmm. now as demonstrated <coughs> by the overhead projection tonight which mm -hmm. will be on our school website mm -hmm. we have to prepare a three-year budget in our three-year budget we have a negative budget because of the recession because of declining enrollment mm -hmm. because of deferrals from the state in payments Mm -hmm. So we have to plan our budget. We have to start reducing this year if we can negotiate part of that out. Mm -hmm. Another number of at least two and a half million the following year, mm -hmm. and maybe another two and a half million the year after that. Mm -hmm. So it has to be a plan in place. Mm -hmm. I believe our staff is up to the task, mm -hmm. and I'm look encouraged by it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to working with them, with the Kern County Superintendent of School and the local area community. A problem that occurs is 
the new government, our governor and members of the legislators, they have to come up with their own budget and how to reduce their part. Mm -hmm. Since the state is in some needs of funds, uh, it's going to affect a lot of areas and school districts are going to have their fair share of effect. The problem is, is that a lot of it's going to be deferred back onto us. If, and what I mean by that is the way it reads and the way it comes down and the way the instructions come to the school districts is that if voters do not pass the extension, we are looking at it in excess of $2 million added to the $5 million reduction in two years, mm -hmm. which means now, now, our, now our task becomes a close to an impossibility. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have to plan two different budgets for a three-year projection. Mm -hmm. One, if it stays status quo. Two, if taxes are not approved by the voters, mm -hmm. then we have a, another budget to approve on that one. Mm -hmm. So we have to come up with two plans. Mm -hmm. Worst case and worst, worst case. We have uh, finished completing the Copper Mountain addition, and so if you look on the, on the slide, the part on, on the right is the, the natural gas plant. The part in the center in the yellow is the, the 10 megawatt plant. And the, the new addition kind of wraps around that with the apron and that's Copper Mountain. This map is just to orient folks to exactly where our site is located. Um, it, it is about a half a mile north of the LA County border, north of Avenue A. And the main parts of the site are between 135th Street West and 150th Street West. And on the northern uh, border is Kingbird Avenue, so that's a mile south of Rosemont.